Okay. We got Ernst. Are you there? Who did you say? Ernst. Ernest. 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 They left off an E. I apologize. Oh, that's okay. How are you guys? Good. How are you? I can't complain. You could. <laughs> that what I can say is that for years I'm just, I did complain I'm just being contrary. I'm sorry. What was that? Said so, though for years I did complain about you guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you co you complain about us specifically or atheists in general? No, you guys specifically. Okay, you guys so, were the devil. Okay, so now you decided that you can't beat them. You got to join them. You know, isn't that <laughs> interesting? Uh, Are you serious? Are yeah, you serious? Definitely. I served on Vance Russell's church. It's called uh, Arise Fellowship. Yeah. Joe Cruz's church down in uh, South Austin. Uh, I'm an ordained minister still today for some okay. reason. You know, my best friend that owns the uh, ministerial Bible school, and that, you know, I'm going through a phase. Ah. I was the person that you guys were talking about earlier who wouldn't take their kid to the doctor while I stood in faith. Okay. Wow. And, you know, part of my deconversion process began when I really asked myself, is this moral? Mm. And wow. It, it, it just, as a Christian, the things that I would do, I would go into HEB supermarkets and grab people who were in wheelchairs and literally throw them. Uh, well, to, you know, to what end were you doing in. that? I'm, Excuse I'm, me? Why would, you, why would you do that? I'm confused. Well, because for uh, three years I sat under Rodney Howard Brown, one of the biggest televangelists in the world, and, you know, you just think that you're anointed with power when you're, you're oh, delusional. But, I see. But, uh, no, I, all right. I, so you, you thought you were a vehicle of faith healing? Is that, absolutely. I see. And, and you actually would walk into an HEB and pick somebody up out of their wheelchair? Absolutely. And nobody arrested you for this? <laughs> That's no. dangerous. Because they damn sure should have. <laughs> yeah, they, they really should have. You know, I was just talking to my wife. I lost every Christian friend that I have. Well, I'm sorry. Sometimes you know, it's a difficult process. It is. I mean, I, I, you know, and I was talking to my wife, and I told my wife, I said, you know, Kelly, I would not let me around my kid four years ago. Mm. I wouldn't let that myself around my kid two years ago. Yeah, and I'd bet though, I'd bet though, the you from two and four years ago wouldn't let the current you around your kid now. You know, isn't that interesting, man? Yeah. I should just lock myself up. <laughs> but you know, the, I called in a couple of weeks ago. My schedule's so busy uh, with work and traveling and what have you that uh, I wasn't able to call back in. But you know, Vance Russell, you know, calls the show. You know, a, a uh, evil spirit of Satan sent to tempt and, <laughs> We're flattered. <laughs> sent to tempt and defuse his believers. I got and demons it, running all through me. <laughs> and you know what's so funny is that this is supposed to be, you guys want the funniest thing in the world to go see. Go see people that think they're prophets that will just let anybody walk into the line, and they'll try to read your mail or, so to say, prophesy something that only you and God could know, and they miss it so bad that... uh you know, it just it's it's unbelievable. And one other thing that made me leave was at the level of I don't know what you want to call it, man, control, hypocrisy that's in the local churches there is so great that Vance's own spiritual son turned into a homosexual and divorced his wife and you know, the the theft and everything that occurs within these circles are unbelievable. And it, it Wait, just, he, he has a people, son? People can't see this. They need to go to the church. Well, I mean, I, 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 I have to kind of take exception to one thing. He's, he has a, Vance has a son who, because of the control of the church, turned into a homosexual? He was a homosexual. And it's he not had a been, physical son. It's his spiritual son. He birthed this guy in the faith, put this guy over control of his money. You know his people, and literally, uh, Earl so, so he, was, he was a gay man who was forced into living a heterosexual life by the church's control. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, you know, I was gonna say, if we found a way just to turn people name. gay, everybody be dressed nicer. Yeah, well, <laughs> he did dress pretty nice. Well, yeah, it's, it's regrettable how uh, people get in this sort of uh, mind games, right? And 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 sort of get chewed up by it, I think, and spat out. Although I will take the challenge, 
Which of us is dressed nicer? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and and to the my whole purpose is, man, you guys keep doing what you're doing because in the time that I deconverted, we lost our friends. You know, I performed my brothers and and very close friends of mine their own weddings, and when they, you know, when they see where I'm at today, they're just like, Ernest, you're a total fake. And I, no, I wasn't a total fake. Nobody would make me do the well, things you, that you, I did. You changed, if, right? If I wasn't a fake, but keep doing what you're doing because it was in those times where I was literally suicidal in the times where you know I deconverted nobody would talk to me I thought well holy crap there's nothing left well and spending time watching the shows watching YouTube you know maybe these guys really have something actually gave me energy strength to uh, be where I'm at today in which wow. I just wow. I couldn't live a better life wow well Thank you so much for calling in and, and sharing that, and congratulations on you know it, escaping and embracing reality. Um, and you, you don't have anything to worry about. Uh, I have no plans on on stopping uh, anytime in the near future. So. Well, yeah. So I took your advice and I got a priest outfit and went downtown to Harrisburg and oh. got a, a, a video camera. I don't know. It's fair to say that I, I gave this out as advice. <laughs> I, I did it. Yes, you said to wear it and, and look at the level oh. of uh, you, you, yes. you know, Matt did that at one respect point. you get. And I said, well, I wonder how much respect I'm going to get if I go out and try to deconvert people. Yeah. Oh, okay. you, you did that in that getup. Yeah, right in Harrisburg. <laughs> Sorry, I went on a completely different track. Yeah, oh, that sounds I like did. great YouTube video. I did recommend <laughs> that people try that just so that they can get. Yeah, could you're see like, how so you believe in God, huh? And people are like, yeah, Father, I really believe in God. Why do you believe in God? How do you know He exists? <laughs> and you just hear their answers. But if an atheist comes up, then I have to immediately switch it to, well, no, I believe God is real because the Bible tells me it's real, and I believe slavery is just and perfect, you know, so that you don't blow your cover. <laughs> 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 It, it is hilarious. it is true that when yeah, someone so finds out you're an atheist, they, they the shields go up, you know. And well, and you know, because if you try to literally, you know, you just end up an atheist will will ask you questions and you'll, you'll literally be stumped. You can't. You can't. Yeah, answer, we, we're, we're good at that. But look, you guys deal with callers that that people really want to hear. You know, keep working. You're making a difference in people's life. I live a very sane job. I'm very wealthy and to do good in my life today. And guess what? It doesn't take prayer. You know, it doesn't take tithing, which, man, I wish I could have all my money back. <laughs> Me too. And, uh, you know, I, I live a wonderful life. I'm not tormented. You know, and devils aren't chasing me around, spying on me all the time. And, you know, I just, good okay. job, guys. All right. Well, we're, thank you very we're much. We're very happy for you. That must have been a, a, a challenging road to, to take, and we're, we're proud of you. It is. An atheist, you got to remember, be gentle with people. You don't want to turn them off. And wait, and, you uh, sure you were watching this show? <laughs> uh, well, no, no. I mean, we, with the person who pull no punches most of the time. I, mean, I got a you. Converting person. Yeah. You know, like me, I could have been easily turned off if it wasn't for this guy Brad Religion that uh, watches your show all the time. He knew exactly how to deal with me with kick gloves. Cool. Well, yeah. okay. thanks a lot for calling, and we appreciate it. And, and congratulations. Keep living and enjoying your life. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye, bye. It's a, it's a good note for other people out there. You know, we've had this discussion before about how many in the pulpit ministers don't actually believe anymore but are afraid to say so because, you know, hey, by the way, what the hell are my career path options? You know, if I quit doing this, what job can I get? And, a social services. You know, uh, right. I think there are plenty of options, but I'd say that any option is better than continuing to live a lie uh, to do you're, you're doing real harm. And, and, and this, this is true for, I think, you know, ministers who do believe, as in addition to those who don't believe, you are converting people to something that I consider to be uh, delusional. Um, and as somebody who used to believe it, I don't think that Christians are stupid. I, I certainly wasn't stupid when I was a believer. Uh, I just didn't have the understanding that I, that I have now. Um, which isn't to say that I might not change my mind again if new evidence came along and I gained some better understanding of the way reality yeah, works. Yeah, we're not and preaching the, a gospel yeah, here. This we're, 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 we're advocating that people use reason and find out for themselves, look at the evidence themselves. Yeah. But if you're in a position where you um, are living a lie and leading other people uh, you know, to continue 
in something that you know or you believe to be uh, not true and harmful. Get out. Stop. Do anything. Mm-hmm. Unemployment's at an, at an all-time high, and I, or a long-time high, and I know that that scares some people. But you know, I, 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 I couldn't do that. I don't know how. You know, it, it may explain you know why um, Ernest was talking about potentially being suicidal. I can't. I couldn't imagine being in that position, where I was continually forced to say things that I believed were untrue. 